Hey guys, welcome to the channel. What we have here is a 2020 F-250 work truck. It's a single cab long box configuration. And this one does have the 7.3 liter V8 in it. So this is kind of a cool uh, truck I wanted to do. But you can see it has the black plastic grill in the front. You have just the standard halogen headlights and uh, just regular uh, standard bolts for your turn signal. And then when you're driving around, normally the daytime running lights are actually like, it turns on both of them. So like they're both for low beam. And then if you turn on high beam, I think both of them, I'm not sure on how that exactly works, but I know what the daytime running lights on, it's both of them. So it might look like, uh, if you see this truck on the street, it might look like they have their high beam on, but really they don't. This truck isn't terribly big, so it is fairly easy to maneuver around. And then it's not four wheel drive, so you can't see the four by four badge. And it is a little bit lower to the ground than a four wheel drive truck would be. You can see there, it's an XL based work truck, Oxford white. I call it work truck white. Here's your uh, turn signal right here. And I like that it says Ford in there. I think this is an extra option. I'll show you guys when I look at the window sticker. And I know on the diesel trucks that they have the gas cap still. Let's see. Oh yeah, on these ones it still has a gas cap as well. <laughs> That's funny. It has a has a little blocker for where uh, the diesel exhaust fluid would be if it was a diesel. Up here, just standard bulbs up there for your uh, bed lighting and third brake light. No tent on the glass. It is just a single cab. Let's look at these wheels and tires. So they are just steel wheels. They're wrapped in LT24575 R17s. Just has uh, these regular Michelin street tires. You can see some of the suspension work and stuff up in there. Just regular street kind of tires. I do like the way it looks with the tow mirrors and the single cab long box. I think it looks pretty cool like that. Coming to these tail lights, all just standard bulbs. Standard for the brake lights, turn signal, and reverse light. No backup sensors on this one, but mandated in 2018, all new vehicles do come with a backup camera. No LED license plate lights or anything, but it does have this nice uh, trailer hitch right here. And I'll put a link to uh, tow spec sheets in the description, just so you guys can check that out if you want. See the one exhaust out the side, if it was a diesel, it'd have the two exhausts and it'd also say power stroke. But I'll give you guys one last little look here before we go ahead and check under the hood. All right, guys, just checked under the hood. No hood liner, but they do have a light on Super Duties, which I really like. I wish they put that on F-150s and pretty much any car. I wish it had a light underneath the hood. I think that's very convenient. But this is the big 7.3 liter. They call it the Godzilla V8. 430 horsepower and 475 pound-feet of torque. Lots of power in this engine. You also get hydraulic hood shuts, which is nice. Show you guys around the engine a little bit. You can see there's a pretty good amount of room to work around it need to replace anything or fix anything so that's pretty cool the way they did that i just looked at the window sticker and mpg numbers are not required for a vehicle like this so i'm not sure what the mpg is but it's probably not all that great with the big heavy truck with a huge push rod v8 like this one all right guys we're gonna go ahead and hop inside there is no smart key access or anything you just have black plastic door handles but you do have heated mirrors, which is nice. Let's go ahead and hop inside this truck here. Looking at the door panel, it's all hard touch, which isn't necessarily good for your arms when you're resting on it, but at least it's very durable, easy to clean. You have automatic windows up down for the driver and passenger, power mirrors and power locks right there. A lot of storage in the door. This right here is for your lumbar support. And then that's how you adjust the seat. There is no way to move it up and down. It's kind of in a middle position, so. Since I'm tall, I'm kind of sitting really high in this truck, but I mean, I guess that kind of adds to, you know, being in a truck and having the truck feel. It does say a little Super Duty on the side, that's pretty cool. Looking down here, this one has the vinyl floors. So it's very utilitarian, easy to clean. I like that it says Ford down there though, that's pretty cool. Just a regular manual parking brake and you pull it there to release. And then there's your little seat design right there. They're pretty comfortable. They seem like they should uh, last a long time before they start ripping and tearing. And someone pointed out on my F-150 Platinum video that I should show uh, these ratings over here. So it looks like uh, the combined weight or whatever, payload is 4120 apparently, if I'm reading that correctly. So you guys can look that for yourself. And then uh, that's what that one says, if that helps you guys at all. 
but let's go ahead and hop inside here. Alrighty, we got the old school Ford uh, flip key. Go ahead and start this truck up. It's pretty cool. It has a nice, uh, nice V8 rumble, and then it kind of rocks the truck a little when you start it up, which kind of adds to the experience, which I like. But uh, anyway, let's go ahead and check out this gauge cluster real quick. So you get this tiny screen and the XLs. I'm not a huge fan of this screen because it just it looks like a like a calculator or something. Just not a fan of that screen. But you do have your different trips and stuff like that. But we'll just go to the speedometer there. Then you have your little gauges across the top there. And then uh, the speedometer goes up to 100 on Super Duties. So just a very basic gauge cluster. I do like the bigger screen in the middle though. I like that a lot better. And then if you get the high-end trucks, you get even a bigger screen in the middle. But looking over here to the center, and by the way, there's storage up here. I have a lockbox in the way right now, but you can put some stuff in there as well. You have your traction control button and then your hazards. Another calculator screen, which again, not, the, not a huge deal being that it's a work truck, but I wish that they came standard with the eight inch sync screen. And then looking down here, there's your standard climate controls right here. Um, just single zone, no automatic or anything. But here's for your heated mirrors that I showed you guys earlier. And if you look over here, you have a diff lock on this one, and then you have a trailer brake controller. And then in this armrest, unlike XL F-150s, you can actually open this up, which is pretty cool. Put some stuff in there, two cup holders, put your phone. And if you lift this up here, you can use it as a third seat option, which is cool. But I like to leave it down so I can rest my arm. And when it's up, it kind of blocks your visibility out the back there. There's the bed, it is an eight foot box. And there is no bed lighting or anything in there, so there's not really much to see. It is a manual for the lift gate. You know, it's not like it's power adjustable or anything. If you look over on this side here, you have a 12 volt, or it looks like you have two 12 volts. The higher end trucks have a house outlet. That's interesting, I did not know that before. And then you can open this up, put some stuff in there if you need to. And then you have your glove box down here. You can put your owner's manual in there. This is to turn on and off the passenger airbag. Uh, I'm not sure why you want to turn it off. I don't know what that's for, but maybe if you have a kid up here, since it's a single cab, that's probably why they have that. But if you guys know, let me know. You have decent room in there. Here's uh, the passenger area. Just very standard, normal. You can adjust the seat belts. And if you look up here, you have LED lighting on the inside, which I really like they included that. And you have a glasses holder right there. Just a standard mirror, no auto dimming or anything like that. And then looking at the visors, no illumination or mirror. And then it looks like the passenger side has a mirror, but no illumination. So at least that side has a mirror, but I don't know why they didn't include a mirror on this side. But, you know, whatever. It's a base, basic work truck. And if we look at the steering wheel design, it is just a plastic, regular, basic steering wheel. This is to control the screen right there. This is to control your audio, all that good stuff. Voice commands, phone, and then your cruise control over here. This truck does have cruise control. But since this truck is a single cab, there's no really back seat to look at, but we can fold the seat forward so you can see what's back there. It's kind of hard to see on the iPhone, but not much. You might be able to put, you know, maybe some chains or something back there if you need to. A few little tools, but you can't put much back there. All right, guys, now let's take this 7.3 liter Godzilla V8 pickup truck for a spin. And this one does have the 10 speed automatic. If you get the 7.3, you get the 10-speed. If you get the 6.2, you get the 6-speed. Okay, it kind of went, uh, kind of rode out first gear a little bit, and then it went to third here. It is a heavy-duty pickup truck, so when you're driving around, it is a little bit bumpy, but that's to be expected with a truck like this. Steering feels uh, pretty good. It is a little bit um, hard to turn at low speeds. You can't really, I mean, I guess you can turn it with one hand like I'm doing now, but um, the speed sensitive steering and like the high end ones, I think they call it adaptive steering, makes it much easier to maneuver around parking lots. But this is a basic work truck. So like I said, you know, not too many options on this one. And by the way, that's not even available on a basic truck like this. <laughs> that's pretty cool. But anyway, let's go ahead and turn on to the street here. Oh, we need to put some gas in this one. No one coming. Big window sticker my way, but I can still see.
the trans seemed to be pretty smooth in this one. But we're about to come to our stop sign here and then we'll uh, see how it accelerates with uh, some moderate throttle on it. Oh! <laughs> okay. <laughs> this truck sounds really good. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is funny. That's funny, it has so much torque off of idle that it immediately just spun the tires. I mean, it didn't spin it a whole bunch. Obviously, traction control caught it. But that's pretty funny. And even with me giving it some throttle, it's still at 1 to 3, which I'm not a huge fan of. I kind of like when they're tuned to where they go from 1 to 2. If you give it some gas, I think that's a lot more efficient. But um, I'm sure Ford has it all figured out. Steering, you do have to turn it quite a few turns in tight parking lots like this. So that is something to keep in mind. See it going over this bump. You can see it made that shake all over the place. It is bumpy, but again, it's a truck, so that's okay. However, the high-end trucks in the crew cab uh, six and three quarters box, those ones do drive fairly smooth for being a heavy duty pickup truck. But these work trucks, um, I don't know if it's because of the short wheelbase or because the work truck just is, I don't know, maybe they did something different, but they always ride a little rougher than the higher end crew cab trucks. Well, we're about to turn on this street here. We'll do a, another moderate acceleration. This truck is actually pretty fast with the 7.3 in it. I won't say it feels all that much different than the 6.2. Maybe it does feel more like torquey low end. See the sun's kind of in the way, but we'll dip into it a little bit here. <laughs> it sounds so good. This is a really cool truck engine. I'm sorry, I know the sun is glaring on the camera. But we'll take this corner and see how it handles. Oh, you have to turn the steering wheel a whole bunch. Yeah, I mean, it handles like a pickup truck. No big deal. But it is fairly smooth, like, in the transmission-wise, and if you kind of get used to the bumps when you're just cruising around normally. But anyway, I hope this gave you a good look into this single cab, long box, work truck, super duty. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram if you'd like, link in the description, and I will see you guys in the next video.